Okay, we're going to use the stamp game to help illustrate how to use the standard standard algorithm for multiplication. Now, I already have the group set up because we're going to multiply 246 by 34 groups. So I have three groups of 10 and four groups of one. And what we want to do is to fill out each of these rows with the correct stamps. So in each of these four groups, we are going to have 246. And that looks like this. 200. Forty six. Over a little bit. All right. And now we want these to be in each of these four. So I'm going to copy and paste okay now we have four individual groups of 246 each now for these three groups because they are representing groups of 10 we have 10 groups of 246 so to do that we're going to use the larger stamps to show what 200 times 10 is, which is 2,000. And then we're going to have 400. And 60. And I'm going to do this for those three groups of 10. So I have two more to do. We'll copy and paste those. All right, and then we're going to draw some dividing lines in our place values so that you can easily see how things break down. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and solve our problem. So we have 246 times 34 and we'll start with the 4. 4 times 6 can be found right here on our, our array. Okay. And that's 24. Left over for some previous work. All right, so now we have four times four groups of ten. All right, so here we have four groups of ten, and we're going to multiply it four times. Four times four ten is one hundred sixty, and we have the two tens that were left over. In this place value, so that's 180. And we're going to carry this 100 over into our next place value. We have 4 times 200. And here we have, we have that amount, which is 800, and we have 100 left to add from this previous multiplication, so that's 9. Now we will do, we will multiply by our groups of 30. So 30 times 6, 30 groups of 6, it's right here. And that's 180. So we need to move our 100 over here because we're now working on our hundreds place value. 3 times, 3 groups of 10, 30 times 40. right here is 
30 times 40 would be 1,200, and we have one more 100 to add, so that's 1,300. And we're going to carry this over for our next 1,000. And our last group to look at is the 30 times 200, which is right here. Okay, which would be um, 6,000, and we have one more to add, which is 7,000. And we add them up. 4 and 0 is 4. 8 and 8 is 16. So we put our extra 10 over here. And we have 10, 13. That's 130. So 246 times 34 is 8,364. And with this array broken down, you can easily see how each of these parts corresponds to our standard algorithm.